Hey there everyone and welcome to another video from the Retro Game Planet. We're going back to 1990 for the awesome Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge on the Commodore Amiga, which was made from magnetic fields and published by Gremlin Graphics. Now this was the start of an awesome three game series of Lotus games and it's absolutely fantastic. So let's get in there and take a look at the opening menu. So on the opening menu you can select the difficulty level, so 7 races in easy mode, 10 in medium, 15 in hard, there's also a practice mode for you to get used to the game but for the purpose of this one I'm going to just play on the hard mode, straight into the deep end, you can select one or two players, so two players is split screen, although quite disappointingly uh, from, from memory we're on this game, if you play one player it's still split screen and you only get the top half of the screen to race on. Uh, something that was corrected in later games. Uh, you can configure your driver name, so let's uh, enter this one as Retro Game Planet. You can select your gears, whether you want to change them yourself or have them computerized, aka automatic. And finally, the control method push, push up on your joystick to accelerate or use the fire button, which is what I'm going to do. So, onward now to the music selection. So you basically you can have a race with no music and just hear the engine sounds and the sounds of the race. Um, but there's four tracks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the first 10 seconds of each four and let me know in the comments if any of these were your favourite, which one you preferred. Quite a serious track, track one. So I'll have that one, track two. bit faster paced. Sounds a bit like it's got a bit of a road rest feed to it to be fair, but no, it sounds like a fast paced racer. Track 3. This feels like a determined and serious type track, I like this one. I think this is my favourite so it's going to get my vote. And finally track 4. This is more laid back isn't it, it feels like you're racing around the countryside in the summer maybe, I don't know, in the mountains, but that's track four. So do let me know, like I said I'm going to go with track three, my favourite. And straight into the first race which is Portugal with a course record from Alan Phosphate. It's a fast course with no hazards except for sharp bends, it's got five laps. So straight into it. So starting off you start at the back of the grid in 20th position and the simple aim is by the end of the race Ideally to have finished first, but make sure you're finishing the top 10 because that's where you're going to score championship points and be able to progress to the next race. So opening races on all difficulties are going to be your easiest as you would expect, albeit this one's a bit more twisty and turny. Uh, and on easy mode for example, um, you're not going to need to refuel halfway around, but I think I'm going to need to on this one. So the progress on the, on the laps is in the top left, so as you can see I'm on lap 1. And uh, way back in 13th at the moment, we've got plenty of uh, time to put that right. And on the right hand side it tells you the gear you're in, how fast you're going. And you can see how much fuel you've got left, and also your position. And like I say, the bottom of the screen is just some mechanics working on a, on a Lotus. So a bit of a waste, but like I say still an enjoyable game and like you can see the twist and the turns and the, the speed of the game is fantastic and also the hills it does feel like you're going up and down hills you've got limited visibility sometimes there I'm doing a right up to seventh I think most people possibly swing towards Lotus 2 as a favorite of the three and I like three Lotus 3 as well but let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, game of the series was just crashed. Now you'll notice on this one that um, all the vehicle opponents are white. And I think there's been an updated version, a more recent sort of mod or remake of this. Um, maybe not on the Amiga, but I've definitely seen where you've got different um, different coloured opponents. But it's just an all-round really good racing game, and it. It's got that speed and intensity that was lacking from the likes of Outrun, which I think was appalling on the Amiga. I don't think I'm alone in thinking that. I'm up in fourth position now, I'm doing alright. 
Just noticing my fuel's depleting, so at the end of this lap, lap three, I think I'm going to go and uh, get that fuel stop in. I'm up to first, so that's good. I'm in a good good place. Now I'm going to come across back markers at some point. But don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And please do support me by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Right, I think I'm coming towards the end of the third lap. We've got this up and down. There we go. We can hear my fuel gauge beeping at me. So I need to stop. So what you'll do is in a minute, you'll see the area. Here it is. So you literally just stop in that extra part of the lane. And then you can see the fuel gauge going up. You need to just determine how much fuel you need. So I'm going to leave it there. I think that's enough. Hopefully, I'll retain my lead and we can just go on. Finish the race. I've gone down to second. That's not to worry. Still got two laps. There we go, simple, back into first. So the only thing that can stop me now really is lack of concentration or getting stuck between all the back markers and crashing into them. It's a brilliant game and uh, if you've not played it for a while, you're probably tempted to go and pick out straight away Lotus 2 and 3. Honestly, just work through them. Play number one, have a championship season on there. And then uh, play Lotus 2, remember what it was like when that came out and you got all the improvements. And then almost to the, the third in the series. We're on to the final lap. So I'm feeling pretty comfortable now. I'll just run out of road there. I'll say later tracks you're going to get different hazards. So uh, at the moment it's just twists and turns and hills. But it does get a lot harder so... It's not going to be easy to win every race, not without practice. Coming around the final few turns. It's going to give me uh, maximum points in my opening race, which is fantastic. Here we go, final turns. And across the line. So, first place in the opening race of 15. So I think I'm just going to have one more race on today's video. And let's uh, see what that means. So what it means is I get 20 points ahead of Nigel Mainsail, uh, Ayrton Sendup, amongst others. Moving on to Norway, beware of the loose rocks and water at the base of hills. So here we go. So we've now got hazards. So because I won the race, I start the back all over again. So I've got to do it all again from 20th to, to 1st. So this is now one, two, three, six. We've got six laps here of this track. So again, we're going to need fuel at some point. It seems a bit thinner at the moment, this track. Well, that's annoying. So you've got to be careful where these, you've got your hazard warning signs and then the rocks are on the other side. And then as you can see there, now it's changed. So now the rocks are on the side where it warns you. So that's a bit of an annoyance. You need to remember that. I'm not doing very well here. All the way back in 19th to get past a couple of these cars. There we go, moving now. Here we go. Oh, there's a few of them here. Here we go. Get out of my way. Oh, there's water on the track. Now, the water slows you down significantly, so you don't want to be hitting the water. But um, that's not bad. I've had a bad start, but back to 11th now. Hopefully, I can pick that up. I just need to remember these rocks. So, on the first two, it's on the. There you go. See, so it's on the opposite side from where the warning signs are. So the warning signs are on the left here, and the rocks are not on the same side, whereas here, for the second two, the rocks are on the same side. So I, hopefully I'll remember that for the last four laps, because I've made a mess of it for the first two. I guess the only other thing they maybe could have done is give you the choice of changing that music, because uh, whilst I like this track, it'd be nice to mix it up and not have 15 races of the same tune. Again, I've got a vague memory that that might have been corrected in later games. And I'm going to play all the lowest games uh, in quite quick succession over the next couple of weeks. While they're all fresh. And uh, going back to the, the, sort of the other drivers, you'll notice that they're based on some legend, ra legendary racing drivers. Obviously they didn't have the rights, which is why they're all spelt slightly incorrectly. So it's, not getting into any trouble there. 
I'm up to seventh now. I've done three laps. That might have been a good time to get fuel, but I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on position and try and get some positions back. Ah, oh, that's a nightmare. Gotta get across. There we go. Right, so I'm up to fourth. Third. So that's good. Hopefully in this lap I'll be first and then I can get the fuel. And then hopefully it's a simple race to the end. Second. Ah, oh, crashed into him. What's the chances of that? Here we go. So not quite where I want it to be. So I need to get some fuel. I'm not going to make it. Don't need too much, I don't think. Two laps to go. Let's just go back to the F again and off we go. So fourth, fifth and two laps to go. Hopefully I can quickly get them places back that I've just lost. So six now. Far from ideal. Oh, I forgot about the rocks again. That's really annoying. I've remembered this time though. Right, that's the rocks out of the way. At least there's only them four in a row. Let's try and get around these other cars for the next turn. Ooh, come on. Oh, brilliant. Super moving. That was excellent. Third, second. Water slowed me down. Across the line. Last lap, here we go. First position. Can I make it two wins out of two and have a perfect video? I'd like to, but the chances are someone's gonna go wrong somewhere. There we go. There's the mistake. Oh, can I keep the lead? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So when you stop as well and uh, you're on a hill and you try and accelerate, it's a lot slower. So lots of realism. But as I say, it just I just love how fast it is and brilliant, brilliant game. So uh, hopefully you've seen enough to be digging out. Well, that's it. That is two wins. So the first two of 13 races in hard mode I've won. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.